just as there are microbes which have adapted to live in acidic environments and are known as acidophiles, there are microbes which have adapted to live in basic or alkaline environments and are known as alkalophiles. This is a challenge. Just as in acidophiles, the alkalophiles, they find that their proteins would potentially change their shapes. So protein shape is essential to its function and its shape is determined by hydrogen bonds and by the salt bridges which form between those amino acids with a positive charge and those with a negative charge. And these charges and partial charges are altered depending on the number of hydrogen ions which are present in the cytosol. So as um, a cell changes its internal pH, this would change potentially the bonding in proteins, which would then change uh, the structure to the point that these uh, proteins with their irregular shapes would no longer work. Proteins are composed of varying combinations of 20 amino acids, two of which are acidic and three of which are basic. Just as acidophiles overrepresent the number of the acidic amino acids, the glutamic acid and aspartic acid in their proteins. The alkalophiles, they overrepresent the percentage of the basic amino acids, lysine, arginine, and histidine. And so therefore, um, the higher pH does not alter these amino acids in a way which would change protein shape. Also, proteins could then be constructed uh, where there were fewer, say, salt bridges, which relied on the interaction between positive and negative amino acids, or these salt bridges could be moved to less uh, essential parts of the protein. The cell walls of alkalophiles are made of different components than typical bacteria, and these components have more acidic elements, whether it be fatty acids uh, or acidic aspects of their proteins. And this then helps buffer them from their environment, which is too basic. Finally, there are pumps which can pump hydrogen ions across a membrane. Very often antiport pumps, for example, the ones that exist in the human body, where sodium enters a cell and hydrogen ions are pumped in the opposite direction outside of cells. Um, well, alkalophiles possess pumps which function like this, but the pumping occurs in the opposite direction. The sodium is pumped out of the cells while hydrogen ions are pumped in. And so one of the defenses against an environment which is not acidic enough is to actively pump acid inside the cell at the expense of sodium. The fact that many of these alkalophiles live in very high salt concentrations mean that sodium is abundant uh, to allow this uh, mechanism uh, which pumps in hydrogen ions to protect the cell to occur.